People in Clovis are going to have to make a drive to Portales if they want to hit the nearest Walmart. Officials are still investigating what caused a massive fire to break out inside that Clovis Walmart yesterday. Shoppers weren't inside the building and there's no reported injuries. But Alika Medina has why it's not just shoppers hurting during this closure. One of my friends called at like four o'clock, a little after, and was like, hey, it's on fire. And I was like, like big fire, or little fire. And they're like, no, it's a big one. Sunday morning, people in Clovis woke up to this massive fire coming from inside of Walmart. Clovis police say fire crews from outside of the state came to help put out the fire. If people want to go to Walmart, they'll be in for a drive. I know Portales is only, you know, 25 miles away, but, you know, for somebody who doesn't have a vehicle, that's a long ways. Heather Mayhan works as a delivery driver for Walmart and says this fire is going to affect many people. And we have a lot of um, community members that are elderly or have a reason that they're homebound and uh, they relied on us delivering their groceries to them. Mayhan says she was shocked when she drove to the super center and saw it in flames. The whole thought of just what am I going to do? Like, this is my livelihood, and so it, it was it was scary. It was, that was scary. As of right now, there has not been any update from officials on how the fire started. Walmart released a statement on the situation saying, we're grateful to local emergency crews for their quick response to our store. There were no injuries to associates or customers, and we're currently assessing building damage. We'll continue working with local authorities and focusing on the well-being of our associates. There is still no telling how long the Walmart will be closed as it's still under investigation. Alika Medina, KOB4.